Welcome to Movie Read Views with me, Cody Reed. So today I'm going to review Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Episode 7. And to celebrate, I have my little Kylo Ren shirt here, because he's awesome. But uh, this review is going to contain no spoilers. I'll put up another review, kind of like a spoiler, more in-depth talk about Star Wars, because there's a lot I want to talk about. But I don't really want to, because everyone's afraid of spoilers. So this one is going to be kind of vague, mostly just focusing on the characters. And, uh, you know, this movie, though, it does take place 30 years after Return of the Jedi, so it continues the story. It really expands the universe, and there's a lot of really cool new characters, and you're able to see them come into this universe, and so there's a lot to talk about, and I love the main three characters. No one really more than the other, and so I'll go ahead and talk about them now. The first one is Rey, played by Daisy Ridley, who uh, it seems like Rey is just like this down-to-earth girl, but she goes through a lot of emotions in the movie, and I think Daisy really is a great actress. This is only like her second movie, first really big budget movie, so I think she plays the emotions of Rey really well, and she's a really great actress. And then you have Finn, played by John Boyega, who's kind of like this ex-stormtrooper, but he's like our introduction into the universe, because as he's going along and trying to learn about certain things, so are we. We're trying to learn about past events, as well as continuing new ones. He's also probably the funniest in the movie. He has a lot of great funny lines. You also have Poe Dameron, played by Oscar Isaacs, who's like this top-tier fighter pilot, and uh, he's helping out the Resistance. And he's also very likable and very adventurous, so he's a little bit of Han Solo, but not an exact match. He's just That's probably the most relatable I see, too, where he's, he's likable, but he also has that adventurous side. You have the new droid BB-8, who's not only cute, which he or she is, but somehow you can see BB-8's like emotions, just the way like the way that the droid works. Like it'll put its head down, it's sad, or it's like, I don't know. It just seems like it has emotions. It's kind of weird. But uh, he also plays a crucial part in the role, which I can't really go into. But just know that he has he is important in the movie. And the last character to have a quick mention is Kylo Ren. He's basically the big baddie or like the villain in this movie. But he's. Uh, not only just a one-note villain. He can be menacing at times, but there's a lot more to him than just like meets the eye and you have to go watch the movie to find out more about him. But it's not all new people. You do have some returning characters, which was great to see them too. Uh, returning characters from the original trilogy, I should say. And I won't say who is actually in the movie more than others, because some do play more of a major role than the other characters. Harrison Ford is back as Han Solo, who plays the same character, you know, great guy who feels like he never left the universe, but it's like the same character, but with more life experience. And then you have General Leia Organa, who's back, but, you know, she still can hold her own. She's still like a fighter, and she's not like a damsel in distress. And so Carrie Fisher plays that role well also. And of course the non-human characters, Chewbacca, Chewie, R2-D2, C-3PO, they're all back. They're uh, fun additions to the movie. And then I can't really say anything about Luke, so that'll be for the spoiler review. And a couple last points I can make while still staying vague with no spoilers is that the story could have used a little more explaining. I'm sure, I know there was a lot they had to cover within like the past 30 years, plus introducing these new characters, bringing together new fans and old fans. So I still think they did a really good job. I just could have used a little more explaining in the movie. Heck, it could have even gone like another 10 or 15 minutes. I wouldn't have mind. It's only two hours and 15 minutes. But uh, other than that, the beginning was great. I didn't start the way I was expecting it to. The ending was awesome, a lot of the stuff happening there, but there was a lot of stuff like story and action in the middle just to keep you entertained the whole time. The effects were also really good, the way it was shot, the way it looks, uh, a lot of, like I mentioned, like the music adds to it, and just like the way it looked was great, whether it was CGI or practical effects. I really doubt many of you are on the fence about this one. If you love the original trilogy, like the fun, adventurous, kind of cheesy sometimes, uh, original Star Wars movies, then you'll love this one. And also I like how it's really Star Wars and it's not like Star Senate meetings, like in the prequel movies. But to wrap up, I'm going to give it four and a half out of five stars. I highly enjoyed the movie. I just thought it could have used a little more explaining in things, which I can't really go into. But I can't wait to go see it a couple more times so I could really dive more into like the characters and things that were happening. So yeah, go see this movie. I doubt you'll be disappointed. There we go. I just wanted to give you some quick thoughts about the movie, but in order to talk more about the movie, I'll put up another review later on filled with spoilers so I can talk about more in depth about like the characters or things that were happening. So look for that video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can know when that comes out. Also get updates on other reviews. You can also send me an email, moviereadviews at gmail.com. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and may the Force be with you. Hello there. It is I, Bane. I highly enjoyed Star Wars The Force Awakens. I think you will too. So, nothing else to say. I'll give it 10 out of 10 wars.